Hey, this is Jeff Blackie again. This is video number 500. Today we're going to talk about what the hell's going on with the Turks attacking the Kurds in Syria. I usually don't try to talk too much political stuff, but this is kind of military as well. And um, everybody's bent on us pulling out of Syria. So they think it's the end of the world, that Turkey's going to destroy the Kurds. And well, guys, listen, I think all you have is what? One Marine Corps artillery battery and some special forces there. What, roughly 100, 150 people is going to be a big deal about pulling them out of there? And everybody's fucking losing their shit over it. Oh my God, we're pulling out. We just left the, our allies, the Kurds, to go die. Ah! Uh, dude, they're like maybe 100, 150 American troops in Syria, including a Marine Corps artillery battery. That's... So these 150 people is saving thousands of Kurds' lives? Really? Uh... You people are fucking stupid. The fucking media is blowing it up bigger than it is. Turkey have been warring with the Kurds for like forever and a day. They're going to do whatever they can to destroy the Kurds. The only reason why Turkey was not attacking the Kurds because it was American forces with them, the special forces guys. So now that the American Special Forces guys fucking, we bugged them out, now they get to attack them in wholesale. Well, unfortunately for you, Turkey, from what I read, apparently the Kurds are, Kurds are now pounding the fuck out of some of your fucking villages with artillery. You guys are going to pick a fight with these Kurds, and they're going to fight back, and you're going to lose a lot of fucking people. Because these Kurds has got a lot of combat experience behind them. Unlike maybe, what, a couple dozen or so Turkish soldiers might have some combat experience? You're talking out on a fucking, on a level, hey dude, what a fucking dick. He's trying to fucking pull out in front of me, really? Yeah, oh, God. Just can't get through a video without some jackass trying to fuck the program up. Anyway, so this thing with the Turks. You know, uh, wow. It's just this 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 media fucking overblown hype shit. It's just it's crazy. You're like, oh my god, we're and then they're, st they're complaining about we're stuck in all these wars, and this is well, we're getting out of Syria. We're still in Afghanistan, right? We're still in Afghanistan. Lost, I think, what, three people in the last month and a half? Three people killed in action? I mean, and then we got still got some people in Iraq, but technically it's not a... Technically it's not a full-blown fucking war like it was in 2001, 2005, 2007, 2008, where there's 100 of casualties, two, 300 a fucking year, you know, I mean, come on, and then they're blaming it all on George Bush, and it goes all the way back to George Bush again, I say, hey, fuckheads, remember 9-11, who, right, Obama could have got us all out of there and stayed out but he didn't. So everybody's putting the blame on George Bush. And they're like, well, look at the fucking, look at the goddamn money that we owe, that we're over this and that. And he says, well, Obama tripled, fucking doubled it in his eight years. He could have done more. He could have done more. He could have got us out. He could have pulled us completely out of Iraq and pulled us completely out of Afghanistan. And both those countries are going to be fucking killing each other. And apparently what's going on now is Iraq has now begun to start its own fucking protest and uprisings and all this other shit. And it's going to lead to a fucking other civil war. These countries will never, never, ever be at peace. No matter if we are there or if we're not there. 
I've been hearing about fucking Iran and Iraq and all that shit been going on since the 80s. They've been fighting each other since the mid 80s. Then the Persian Gulf, and then we had all those operations after the Persian Gulf. Operation Southern Fox, over the Operation Southern Watch or Desert Fox or whatever. There's like five different things. They were still giving campaign medals for. Still, we've been in conflict with Iraq in its airspace since 1991, people. So this big fucking hoopla of pulling out 100 or 250 troops out of Turkey, I mean out of Syria, to help, you know, no longer help the Kurds, they can fight their own fucking battles. Let them fight it. We helped destroy big part of ISIS. So what's the big fucking, what's the big deal? It's another dig at President Trump. That's all it is. Just another dig. So, my take? Fuck it. Let's get out of there. Let the Turks, the Kurds, ISIS, and Syria, and Russia kill each other. Without American help. Let them butcher each other. And stop picking on the president because he wants to fucking preserve American lives. Something that Obama and Hillary didn't want. Fucking whore.